and we've come back to Dark and Ran Mass Effect 3. Hello. Finally got around to doing all this, getting back to the main story. Finally getting around to getting the best girl. <laughs> and, you know, single handedly ending a civil war, well, not civil war, but a war three centuries in the making. Yeah, you know, the, the... So I'd say that was a nice turnout for, uh, Rannoch. Yep. And so, next up is probably a lot of stuff. Probably the Citadel. Probably the Citadel. Yeah, what's time to happen? Well, first, let's see what Hackett's up to. Commander, something on your mind? Oh, I got an achievement, okay. Okay. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else, as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some tourists. This sounds nice, right. I think we've already covered Good that one. Probably. I think we've got all, all of them all already. Okay. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well. Even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. I guess so. Yeah. Shepard, yes. I thought you might like to know oh, I've got word on your mother. Oh? Oh? She's alive and around <coughs> according to Rear Admiral. <laughs> She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. <laughs> Fair enough. Hadn't heard that one before. Oh, Master and Commander, deliver most of the Galaxy at War assets. I'm still amused that I said the O at about the same time as him. <laughs> Geth Hunters. Migrant Fleet Marines. Good stuff. The Geth. Geth Lee. Geth Core. Yeah, Geth Prime Platoon. Worse. Corians with the Heavy Fleet, Patrol Fleet, Civilian Fleet. <laughs> Zalcorus himself is considered an asset. Hmm. That's the one we saved, right? Yep. Fair enough. Minor Colonial Support. And that is, uh, bad news. Mm hmm. Eh, lost some colonial support because it doesn't exist anymore. Ah. Uh, yeah, that will do it. And that's a war for you. Nobody told him that was a small Reaper. You've got new messages, Commander. Duly noted. Only always have messages. Yeah, seriously. About time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. Heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the <laughs> procurement specialist. Set us up. Fit enough. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. Yeah. Yep. 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Hey. 
Okay. Uh, it could be better. Uh, get a drink. Probably go uh, Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the pilot. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to Hackett's team so quickly. Right with it? I mean, it's not over there anymore. Damn it. <laughs> I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rhino. Transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Is everything okay, Shepard? Lots of people to talk to, huh? Yeah, just a few. You know, yeah, I will just set a break before going to the Citadel and talking to a lot more people. The Arda Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge sorry audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. How fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. <coughs> Fair enough. I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Okay then. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Oh boy. I mean, probably something we're talking about. I guess. Yeah. And we bring Tally with us. <laughs> Going away. Well, I was thinking of inviting to Sony a trainer up for a wee game of strength poker. Right. You're not going to invite Commander Williams too? She seems like a sore loser, and I'm rather attached to my tender things. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Ramok. In the old days, <laughs> I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They are rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. Yeah. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Pretty that cool. is quite amazing. Yeah. The Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ravok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Anytime. Just let me know if you let a Geth upload itself in there. <laughs> no. The only person who gets inside my suit <laughs> is you. Nothing stands between us. <laughs> Whatever the galaxy throws at us, I'll be at your side. By the way, I left something for you up in your cabin. Go have a look. Interesting. That also implies that she has free access to her cabin. Well, of course yes. she does. But, I mean, yeah, it makes sense, just saying. Oh, 
All right, Javik, what's your opinion on this? Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this. He refuses to comment. Got it. <laughs> no such thing is possible. No, no, he can't. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust this species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms. <clears throat> How do you see Well, because of diplomacy, we have powerful and plentiful fi firearms. <laughs> Okay, he's got nothing else to say. <clears throat> Still weren't that guy. You can always rely on Javik to point out the worst possible details about everything. Mm -hmm. I look forward to being able to prove him wrong at the end. And we add another one to the wall. Yep. You don't see. Wait, what is he here? Right there. Oh, right. I just assumed they would be in order. Nah. So the position kinda confused me. Okay, so nobody's in the lounge right now. Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? You're not too chatty, are you? So she's also being... quote-unquote, a realist. Yeah, well, that's Ash for you. Yeah, fair enough. Peace between the Geth and Corians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. Next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turian. <coughs> <laughs> oh, right. You managed that one, too. <laughs> the these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. <laughs> Flash forward to everyone who took the control ending. <laughs> the, yeah? The one where, you know, take control of the Reapers. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Maybe later. Of course, we won't be picking endings this time. What with, uh, I think it's the better ending lock. Don't know what it does, but I look forward to finding out. Another Reaper gone, <clears throat> and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There are still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Mm. Thanks for coming by. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> More research on Ava Corey, you know, the person that Liara, not Liara, Edie's body is based on. Ah, uh, right. I put Farron in charge of investigating Core Hishlop Aerospace. I suspected that we'd found one of Cerberus' front companies, but I couldn't imagine it went this deep. <clears throat> Publicly, Core Hishlop Aerospace is a mid sized starship manufacturer, but Farron was able to dig up Alliance contract work dating back over 20 years. Somehow, they're indirectly responsible for producing nearly a third of all Alliance warships. I've had Glyph running through their financials, and the amount of unaccounted credits over the last 21 years are astronomical. He's still calculating mm -hmm. the final figure. Furthermore, the amount of missing Alliance cruisers is almost exactly the same as the current STG estimate for Cerberus' fleet. The Illusion Man has been quietly building and, and carefully erasing warships from Alliance records since 2165. The implications are staggering. Farron yeah, volunteered that's... to Farron volunteered to go undercover and try to find a link to the elusive man, perhaps even where his base is. But it's too risky. Cerberus knows his face, and I can't lose him again. I put Operative Marat in charge of infiltrating Korjelop. 
Well, at least we know where the ships are coming from. Yeah. <coughs> Email from Sergeant Kavanaga, Kavanag to Sergeant Ichi. Next time you want to warn me that the Geth are our friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots? I almost pissed myself when these primes started dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few <laughs> rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. And then this one comes over, said they're allied assistants, and asks for our status. I'm not complaining they saved my crew, but I'm never going to live down having to apologize to a Geth for shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> <laughs> At least knowing they get, they probably weren't exactly concerned about it. Yeah, they, they don't particularly care, anyway. <laughs> and they're also smart enough to understand that the sudden entry can get confusing. <coughs> yep. I mean, I think the actual asset for the Geth mentions that. Yeah, until recently, Geth expected nothing but violence from organics and designed themselves accordingly. Like, they, they expect everyone to shoot first. Yeah. Alright, so, oh, that's a bit of stuff. Naila, monitoring VI detection. Virtual intelligence techni technician Naila. Naila. Oh, it's a Hanar. Mm. This one has detected an anomaly with the monitoring systems used by Special Tactics and Recon. The virtual intelligences have captured video of Spectre operatives that we know to be missing or killed in action. Over two dozen data streams have been detected which prominently feature these agents, and it felt it was prudent to bring it to your attention. Here are the names of those agents that were monitored over the past few weeks. Those six. <laughs> of the six, this one has detected Lonar Mayron with greater frequency than the other five specters combined. This one does not know what that means, but in light of his disappearance, it is unlikely to be a positive sign. No, probably not. I'm going to go ahead and guess Cerberus plants. Depends if they're human or not. Mm, good point. Several of these, these, most of these names are definitely not human. So it could, yeah. be, it could be indoctrination. Yeah, it could be repair brainwashing. Liara about a time capsule. <laughs> oh, oh boy, from Liara to, to Joker. And she CC'd us in it. Joker, I'm attaching all the necessary documentation on the time capsules we talked about earlier into this email. ED has also been briefed on the details. Glyph and I have acquired help from Engineer Adams to incorporate the capsules into Normandy's planetary probes. This way, we can easily deploy a large number of them during our travels. Once deployed, the probes are programmed to drill it to, into the crust of any of the plants they are fired at, so that the capsules are stored underground. Beacons will remain on the surface, but will only emit a very weak signal. Should the worst come to pass, we have to assume that they, that they have to remain undetected by the Reapers for a very long period of time. Fortunately, the Normandy Stealth Drive allows us to spread them all over the galaxy without attracting attention. No one outside Normandy's crew knows about the pro this project given the dangers of Reaper indoctrination. It is imperative that we can keep this secret as closely guarded as we can. You were on board during the Collector attack, weren't you? We have to make sure that the Reapers will never get a hold of this ship or its crew again. Let us hope that all these precautions will be unnecessary. But how does this human expression go? Hope for the best, plan for the worst? Yeah. Yes, as your request, I included a section on the daredevil pilot of the Normandy. Although I'm afraid, should anyone receive these messages in 50,000 years, they will be confused by the comparison to whoever this evil Knievel is. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, that's funny. <coughs> Tally Zora about engineering, engineering volunteers. Shepard, I've been getting a number of requests from people wanting to join my engineering team. It seems e that everyone wants to serve on the Normandy now. And to think, the Admiralty Board tried to humiliate me by calling me Vas Normandy. <laughs> I talked to Adams, and he seemed eager to add more experts who could help improve the ship's performance. I've added her details to the crew manifest. And that's just Tally saying she's down in engineering. And that is yep. Diana saying she wants to have a chat. So, well, we can assign Quarian engineers now or something? I guess. 
Oh boy, what's in the Spectre terminal today? Yes, apparently. Negotiation with, with the Ark. The virtual aliens have demanded information under Ambassador and other exiles living on the Citadel. Rather than risk the Citadel fleet against the Ark of Antillon, Council diplomats have expressed an interest in opening negotiations to find a peaceful solution to the crisis. Although they don't require Spectre authorization to connect diplomacy, as a veteran of dealing with the virtual aliens, they are interested in whether you support this endeavor. Yes, diplomacy with the virtual aliens is probably a good idea. Well, here goes. Homeworld information update on Rannoch. Latest information following the conclusion of a battle. Koreans have picked two former cities for recolonization efforts. Ancient cities were chosen for their immense spiritual worth to the Koreans. Morale is extremely high among the Koreans and Geth, and peace seems to have been embraced by the majority of the two fleets. Koreans have expressed surprise at Rannoch's fertility, and believe that the Geth were excellent caretakers for their shared homeworld. The live ships are remaining in orbit temporarily as Geth be begin colossal farming efforts to grow food on Rannoch for their creators. Geth forces have already starting, started reinforcing war zones across the Traverse and, and as far away as Palavan. The Admiralty Board has petitioned the Council to re reopen their embassy on the Citadel. The Geth have also petitioned in hopes of establishing an embassy of their own. Hmm. Peace on Rannoch was never expected, but is gladly received. The galaxy now has two powerful fleets and many troops to call upon to support the war effort. Though civilian attitudes to the Geth are far from positive, we believe that careful media attention can reform that and allow the synthetics to be brought peacefully into galactic affairs. Contingencies will be in place, but their newfound union with their creators is a step toward a promising future. Yay! Heretic Geth Dragon Seath usage. This is to remain classified until an unspecified time after the war. There is a wealth of data relating to the use of dragon's teeth by Geth forces prior to the Battle of the Citadel. These devices were used as both a trap and as a means to convert new husks. A person is laid on the flat device and held there, and once it has detected organic matter, it impales the body with a metallic spike. It then converts the muscle, organs, and water con content into cybernetic parts before reanimating the body with an electric charge. The psychological impact of these creations is extreme, and they allow the Geth to utilize greater forces than they should have been able to muster. Our information reveals that those heretics at Geth who are allied with the Reapers are deploying these contraptions on French colony worlds that they assault. With the Geth as our allies, we must contain any information that suggests they are using dragon's teeth and reduce the impact of broadcasts that cast the Geth in a less than positive light. The galaxy needs the Geth probably more than they need us, so these orders are to be enacted by any means necessary, including the termination of sources. Drastic times. Yeah. Illegal ancestral relics. Corian efforts to reintroduce the agriculture to Rannoch have yielded an unexpected bounty. A cache of ancestor VIs imprinted with the memories of renowned Corian theoretical physicists. These illegal devices were once a cornerstone of Corian spirituality. But for centuries they were held with a mix of contempt and veneration and now their fate is being debated by the Admiralty Board. Spectre authorization would allow operators to confiscate these relics so that they can support physicists working on the Crucible. sure I like that one because it sounds like the Aquarians really care about that we could pass it up and move on to move on for now yeah I think so delete archive material by some stroke of luck the Reapers have bypassed hide and fawn it's a shrouded world that's home to a recently discovered species of sentient plasmoids evidence of this new mode of life was withheld from the galaxy to protect them from exploitation the hope was to uplift them without destroying their unique culture, as this would grant them numerous sapient rights. But researchers have expressed concern for their survival. They've requested that all material related to Hide and Fawn should be deleted from the Citadel Archive, in the hopes that it will spare them the Reapers. Yeah, sure. Okay. Pardon, scientist. Oh, we know this guy. 
Malon Heplorn has spent his career working on the genophage, at first preserving the genetic modifications to the Krogan, before later regretting his decision. This regret led him to make a deal with Clan Warlock to conduct research on female Krogan that were desperate to be fertile. These crude experiments ultimately led to the genophage cure, but he has been on the run for failing to deliver a cure into the hands of the clan. With authorization, Malin can be pardoned of his crimes and allowed to work in the understaffed medical centers of the wards. Yeah, I think so. Alright. We can donate the help. Colonial reactions to the Reapers. This is classified until such time the council deems otherwise. Allure. Wealthy Salarian inhabitants have negotiated with the enemy to spare themselves from the harvest. The price they pay were the lives of human migrants in the poor districts of the colony. Reports suggest that the Reaper, uh, Reaper processing facilities have been constructed on, on the ruin of Aqua Structures HQ. Scumbags. They'll get what they deserve. Sathur, a young colony that was dedicated to growing Oselber. They had no military support when the Reapers arrived in the system. Colonial leaders elected to spike the water supply with the hallucinogen Creeper to spare their loved ones from the horrors to come. Security video has suggested that those dosed with Creeper were incapacitated by a state of pure euphoria and did not suffer in the reaping. Well, that's Silver lining. weird. Tixpuel. To buy safety for their young, the Elcor adults of this colony offered themselves up as a sacrifice and were harvested by a single reaper in orbit. What's unusual is that they appear to have upheld their bargain and withdrawn from the system. The theory is that the herding aspect of their biology was responsible for their sacrifice, and that the reapers may be attempting to cultivate subservient populations in clusters where their forces are spread too thin. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds so bad, right? Hijack detonation device. You know those little uh, space monkey things that have been a nuisance in the previous games? Um, like the one where we had to chase one down to get a uh, satellite piece from it? Oh, uh, yeah. Pijack. A pest species that has spread throughout the galaxy. A Krogan scientist has demanded funds, researchers, and a training facility to turn them into living bombs. The Pijak would be implanted with a VI controlled device that would force them to run towards the most dangerous husk variants. The device would then detonate once they're within a certain radius. The Krogan do not currently have the means to use this strategy, but authorization from Inspector would get the scientist all he needs to put the plan into action. So uh, we're still one stone? I don't know about that. That seems a little risky. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they are these monkeys after all, they could just go crazy and explode on the Krogan instead. Yeah, and his, speaking historically, I think it was the Russians during the Second World War tried training dogs to run under German tanks while they had an anti-tank mine strapped to them. The problem was they trained them using their own tanks, which used a different kind of fuel. So when <sighs> the dogs were let loose, guess which direction they ran? Freaking idiots. So that's not. But, yeah. Also, Sin Krogan scientists have a tendency to. Be whack. Yeah. Crucible Project Eternal Affairs investigator Guiana Parsini has requested some liquid motivation in order to get project technicians to talk. You can help her with her work by providing some spirits. Alcohol imports to the Crucible Project are severely restricted, but Spectre authorization and the name Shepard can go a long way to make things happen. As much as I want to get uh, help her out, I don't know about, you know, loose links, loose lips sink ships. Mm. She wants she wants them to spill spill the beans on what might be classified inf information. Yeah, that's uh, not really that good of an idea. Let's not. She's and again, she's an internal affairs investigator, so maybe there's. She could also figure out if there's, like, moles or something. Maybe? I don't know. What do you think about that one? Mm hmm And commendation for Captain Riley. Captain Riley, an N7 operative, has been nominated for a commendation for Valor for her actions at Sion. Approval from a Spectre would fast-track the award process. I mean, 
We were fucking there. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah, I think we can authorize she, uh, Yana, because she's got a good track record, if nothing else. If you're sure. Look, I haven't been sure about pretty much anything in this game. <sighs> Fair enough. Let me find it. I'm not gonna fucking find it, am I? Oh, here it is. Here goes nothing. Well then. Allied forces, Malin. That's nice. Minor race industrial support. Minor race fleets. Nice. Delimitri and cultists. Strata pack fanatics. I don't know what all that means. That's a we lot of shit. Check. This is a lot of shit. Yes. And it keeps going. <laughs> keeps going. Yeah. Update to the mechanized division. Convoy destroyed by indoctrinated Delimitri and cultists and ambush on Palavin. Half a dozen Makos and Hammerheads have been destroyed, though they took down a dozen enemy vehicles before succumbing to their enemy to the enemy firepower. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the same ish issue. Blackwatch has been has abandoned has been abandoning the modular shields after the leak that they were made through uh, il questionable experiments. Yeah, I can't blame them. Most again the convoy. Most have been confirmed dead, but at least a dozen are missing, which means they could be anywhere from captured to be used as fodder, or they're just roaming around looking for something to kill. It is Krogan. Hmm. Let's see. I guess that's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, fin I'm not gonna call them cultists, but they're cultists. But uh, they're angry with the Reapers, and that's all that really matters. I don't know. I wonder how they'll feel when they realize that there's Gate on our side. <laughs> yeah. The minor races. A lot of the ships have been recalled. Not surprising. Malin is providing a single point of help. I'm helping! Yay! And yeah. Minor races are giving it all they got, but they're, they're minor races for a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we're done here. Migrant fleet. Now we can go visit them as well. Cool. Although the Migrant Fleet has suffered losses, it stands ready to assist the rest of the galaxy. The civilian fleet, which forms the majority of the flotilla, will remain near Rannoch with a token force of the patrol fleet for protection. The remainder of the patrol fleet will accompany the heavy fleet in its logistics train once they have completed repairs. Nice. So yeah, the largest fucking fleet in the galaxy. Plus the guest yeah, almost like we can't actually go in there, but then I realize, oh, then we'd have two halves to constantly go back to. <sighs> there's, a re there's a reason we can't go to Omega, and it's not just because Cerberus owns it right now. It's because we spent way too long in it? It's because it's another fucking hub. Do you remember the first game and, uh, and everything being a hub? Fair enough. Alright. Your 
cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Well, we'll start one at yes, a time. Sir. We don't need I don't even know where this guy is. Uh, yeah, that's uh oh, yeah, we gotta it. figure out where the fuck the Rachni are. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll it sounds like something that would be in the hospital ward. Probably. I think I know where First Fleet Rex is, so we can do that when we leave. Oh yeah, we gotta deliver that. Yeah, we have about a few things to deliver. Fuck. Mm hmm. I'll tell you where we need to go. Uh, I am 99% sure. Would listen here, motherfucker. <coughs> You're right. He was in my way. I am 90% sure the Reaper Code Fragment was in, uh,. The mission where we're inside the Geth Consensus. Probably. And I don't think we got it. So. Oof. Let me see. There's more Corians here now. Your daughter's paperwork has been. Mm, makes sense. So let's check the Spectre office. That's usually where you can find things that you're missing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Quite a few things I'm missing, apparently. Let's see. Reaper code fragment. At least you can just recover them if you. Yeah. Mm. I was a bit worried they could be permanently missable. And Geth target jamming tech. I don't know who wants it, but. Might as well. Pretty much. Okay. Nothing else here. All right, so let's start here. At least one person's looking for something here. We're gonna ignore the counselor because that's story, and we don't want to do that right now. Fair enough. Urgently, human. I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow. Dakuna. My home world. The Reapers have come. Holding sorrow. Our warriors are under siege. But your forces can rescue them. Urgently. Please. All the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? Proudly. With BI-assisted infantry, our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously. I will remain here for news. Please hurry. The Kuna burns. Okay. That's another side quest. First, it's supposed to be able to talk to her. She's the one who's looking for the goat fragments. Who the fuck is the C Sec tech? Um maybe they don't C Sec. Yes, I know, very original of me. 
I'm gonna come back here. Maybe reloading it will make them do the thing. Probably. Possibly. All right then. Is anyone here? Uh, that is not where I am, game. Go home, game, you're drunk. Well, there's a doctor who apparently is uh, interested in talking to me. Cool. General Corellius, I don't know you. Hey, Commander. I just <laughs> wanted to say thank you. Just doing my job. I don't know who is that the, is. Is that maybe the one we saved by delivering something to one of the... It's entirely possible, yeah. We did deliver a tur sample of a Turian to uh, toxin. Yeah. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already done. Chemical tried. treatment, yep, there we go. I came across this treatment plan at the chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is. I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. I don't know if I've mentioned, but I always found this Solarian's outfit to be kind of funny with that little arch in the, f in the front of it. Hmm. It's just like, it's just meant for like, for whenever they say something to tick someone off, for them to just grab them by and lift them up like, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Little know it all fucking piece of fucking VR lizard trash. I'm amphibian, thank you. And then he'll <laughs> probably proceed to get chucked across the room, because chances are it was a Krogan. <coughs> yeah. Can I deliver it? Yes. Excuse me. I'm Commander mm -hmm. Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. Mm. I almost said that female salarians could probably make use of that opening there quite well, but then I remember. Oh, yeah, they don't have that kind of curves. Okay, it's like. Technician. It's not like they can even really use it for that. Hmm. I'm not sure who the C-Sec technician is. It does not ring a bell to me. Mm. Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the human alliance. Interesting. I guess that's another objective of something to find eventually. Another scavenger hunt target. Yeah. Alright, what's down here then? Tally, Liara, Ash, a CSEC officer, someone over here at the bank. And that goes to show how many people you can save with them with 20 dead asses. Really, ran. I am not apologizing. Of course you aren't. You never do. <laughs> not for my jokes, at least. I don't see no scientists here, so we're gonna move on. Oh, okay. What's up with you? I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. If the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. Okay. Yep. Alright. Ash. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. 
All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. Good enough. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. <laughs> Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I threatened to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. No argument here. <laughs> You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander. Sir. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> she knows better th about that, at least. I mean... Well, we already see. Well, we've seen what happens to her when she doesn't get away. Did that thing come in a bottle? This empty yeah. bottle. It's empty. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Tally's supposed to be down here somewhere. Mm. For oh, she's up there. Yeah, more well, Corians. Least, um, yeah, I mean, makes sense. They're I, able I, I, to I, now. I, like, I like them popping up as we go. Yeah. Oh boy, what? What happened? Oh here? god, there's a Geth over here. I know the Hades next off limits. I'm not an idiot. Oh boy. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. <laughs> yeah, there's a guess here. And okay. apparently the people are not too happy seeing it here. And there's nothing we can do about it? That's weird. Yeah, this is where Tali's supposed to be. You you think we'd be able to, I don't know, say something or interact with anyone well, there? I don't think I don't remember that interaction being there in the original game. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed their safety. Okay, nothing to see here. Oh, here's Tally. Hmm. Of course, we can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador. I'm coordinating <laughs> actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago today. Uh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Not necessarily right <laughs> here, but... What? Close enough. This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I just got into the city. Oh. I didn't well, we weren't here for that. My mistake. Yeah. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. I used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was <laughs> I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for old grudges. 
You showed me that. We are at peace with the Gap. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, <laughs> it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. The difference was you. So sweet. Oh, wow. Defense drone available. Not that I would use oh. it. But more drones. Listen, my bonus power slot is going to go straight to Lash when I unlock it. No fakes. Well, you know, you know me. I like my summoner builds. Uh, quit reminding me. I don't think the guy, the rest of the guys, have much to say. Who the fuck needed that statue? Good question. I guess you could check. Maybe it's the scientists out here, and I'm just somehow missing them. I'm pretty sure it's an Asari. Shoop. Yeah, yep. And sorry in the Presidium Commons. Well, this is the Presidium really? Commons. Okay. Oh, is it that one to the right? No. It'll probably be one that looks like she's busy talking. There you are. That's it. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Nice. Okay. So I have no idea what's up with the C-Sec technician. I'll give it another look and then we can bug off. Okay. For a second I thought he had a Venom and I was like, that is not a good idea here. A what? The shotgun that fires explosive slugs. Oh. <laughs> like, that would have been a bad idea. Yeah. You are not. You are not. You are not. None of you are. Hmm. None Does the quest say anything? See, that's the thing, I don't know. It just says there's a CSEC technician on the map. Uh, Maybe it's for the server ciphers? I guess we already handled that. Well, I guess we should probably look into that. Because apparently we haven't. I don't even remember where that's, where you're supposed to get that. Hmm. Yeah, I got no fucking idea. Well, let me check the Spectre terminal. Maybe he's on the other end of the hall. Maybe. It'd be a weird place for him, considering where it says he is, but you never fucking know. This yep. Problem, boss. Cerberus, Cerberus Ciphers, there we go. And our code breakers aren't getting anywhere. Your intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus Ciphers? That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. Whatever. At least we found him. Another one off the list. I love the slow mo run you get when you bugger the animation up. <laughs> that looks so weird. Yeah, 
I don't see heating unit stabilizer. Do we have it, maybe? No, because he didn't appear on the list of NPCs I could talk to. Hmm. Maybe it's a thing from a mission we haven't done yet. I don't think so. Maybe? Let me double check. Oh, it's from N7 Fighter Base. So no, we actually haven't done that yet. Well, now we know. Don't mind me clipping around. The... Oh. Get down somewhere with public transit. Right, so out of the two DLCs we have to start, we have Omega, which is very obvious in what it entails. Mm -hmm. And we have Leviathan. Okay, I can only start Leviathan from here. But which one would you rather start with, Omega or Leviathan? Uh, I want to kill the elusive man. That's part of the story, unfortunately. Oh. I think. At least really, I know is I know he does not appear in any of the DLC. Yeah, but he has Omega occupied, so close enough. All right, then I'm gonna head back to the Normandy because I don't know how to get to Arya's dock from out from inside. <laughs> is that one way to do it? Loop. Back. Oh, right, Joker. Do you have any snark? About what everything that yeah, went down. The Koreans have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I can even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? It's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized in its last moments. It was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Yep. Yeah. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like that. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. <laughs> Fair enough. And also, to be fair, again, the Geth didn't want to turn on the Quarians. Yeah. They were kind of left with no choice. Yeah, they didn't turn on the Quarians so much as just defend themselves. Nyla on Citadel Archives. This one is compiled with your complied with your instructions, and its virtual intelligence will remove hide and fawn from the archives. I don't remember ordering that, but okay. Perhaps. Yeah. The primitive race style. Oh yeah. Perhaps there there is wisdom in this, but this one ju this one's judgment differs from the command. 
In the distant past, the enkindlers gifted to Hanar with language. And this one humbly believes that they bestowed the same gift on the plasmoids of hide and fawn. The truth of the enkindlers is universal and should be shared, not erased. To be the one that removes the knowledge of a kindred species is a burden that weighs heavily on this one's soul. This one suspects your soul is haunted by the same burdens. Yes, but if we survive, we can go back to them and, you know... If someone remembers where. Yeah. I am sure at the very least that one Hanner will remember where. From Primarch Victus. During the night, a convoy on Palavin was ambushed by an overwhelming force. Subsequent analysis of comm traffic has established that the Delmitrian cult deployed Reaper husks alongside their own fanatics, betraying the resistance and killing dozens. They are clearly indoctrinated, and as of this morning, the hierarchy has declared war on the militant, militants of the Church of the Divine Plan. I've consulted with Admiral Hackett and Dalatash Linron regarding this threat, and this will be relayed to, to Earth and Manavai. Other regions where the cults have strongholds. We've started on offensive against their f fortress on Palavin, but with our depleted air force, this will take longer than we had hoped. It's our recommendation that this indoctrinated cult be forcefully dismantled at earliest opportunity. Sometimes our gamb gambits pay off. This time we've paid dearly for it. So I guess we had a hand in giving them a chance. Uh, I wouldn't really remember, but... Maybe. To the, the virtual aliens. Citadel Tower. Citadel Council and the virtual aliens. Well, that was rude of them. Whoever was outside. Have signed a groundbreaking okay. treaty, capping off the first diplomatic summit with non organic intelligences. The Deitweiler Pact was ratified by Citadel dignitaries, including the Earth Ambassador Dominic Osobuck and the virtual aliens. Virtual alien ambassador Saigon. A soba. He sounds familiar. Mm. Under the pact, the virtual aliens will be considered guests of the Citadel and afforded basic sapient rights in exchange for technology and support in the war. Speaking from the Council Chambers, Ambassador Saigon pledged to accept any individual seeking safe harbor in their virtual universe, but urged haste as the Ark will soon return to deep space. Anti-synthetic protests are planned across the wards. Critics are demanding answers on why the coalition is intreating with synthetic races, but not all oppose the move. Many voices have risen in support of the aliens who have taken their first steps in the physical universe straight into a galactic war. One of their supporters is the Geth camp of the new of the new Corian Geth Alliance, which transmitted a brief statement of support. We are next. <laughs> I mean yeah, and to be fair, they did not have to join in to this shit, whole shit fest. Yeah. <laughs> they could have just fucked right off. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Commander Shepard, I understand the Elcor ambassador has personally petitioned you for help on Dakuna. The Elcor are pushing through other diplomatic channels to get our aid. We could deploy the 5th Fleet to give cover while, whilst their flotilla extracts as many of their warriors as possible. It could be a Reaper trap, though. Enemy presence in the, in the Fontis system is increasing. Either way, the Elcor heavy warriors would certainly be useful in retaking Earth. Seeing your staff are split on the idea. In any event, the Elcor will station their flotilla near Old Town, Kuna's moon, and deploy from there. Yeah. We take that and risk. We're gonna go there in. We're gonna go there anyway. We might as well get support. Okay. And next, I guess we'll be heading to Omega to deal with that fun encounter. Yeah. I mean, we could go to the Elcor planet. Um, they're not going anywhere. Okay. Maybe. Either <coughs> way, we'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.